Hello again. Recently I made videos on the Camden records and Elvis 40 Greatest and I realized there was a third element to my um, early Elvis collection. A very important one. In the winter of 1975 this advert appeared in the newspapers and I have a very vivid memory of sitting down at the table with this advert and crossing out the songs that I knew and realising that there were a lot of songs on this set that I'd never heard. So of course I dropped some very big hints that this was what I wanted for Christmas. Um, back then as kids there were four of us so there were lots of little presents and then we had what we were allowed to, uh, our one big present. So this was my one big present. And in the advert you could pay, I think it was 35 pence down, and then so much a week to pay it off, and I think the total was around £12. So, uh, Christmas Eve, of course, uh, all persuaded to go to bed early, because then Christmas comes around quicker. I always used to fall for that one. And we'd all have an empty pillowcase at the end of our bed. Of course, going to bed early just meant that about three o'clock in the morning one of us woke up and then woke all the others up. And, uh, of course, on the end of our bed was this bulging pillowcase. So then came the, the careful little dance of trying to be quietly loud. Being quiet, but loud enough to wake our parents. So we would all troop downstairs with my dad sleepwalking at the back and open our presents. And, of course... Not in the pillowcase, but under the tree, because it was too big. I was very excited to open this box. And so, of course, inside were the six albums. Now on the back, you have a piece of a jigsaw. So when you put the six albums together on the floor, it would make one large picture. Album two. Five, I always thought they got wrong. Five should have been um, something from 68, 69. <clears throat> and then, of course, the bonus album. They're always in the movies. Perhaps that picture should have been on disc five. And the record label now included in the box was this brochure and uh, a very brief telling of Elvis's life and career. And a certificate. Now, I don't know if you noticed in the advert, there was um, a little piece that if you bought the set within a certain time period, you got another extra disc. Now, I don't remember ever seeing this as a kid. Uh, I came across it in my parents' record collection. Of course, it's not Elvis. The Alan Peters Orchestra. But I thought it belongs with the set. <clears throat> uh, it was a very exciting morning. Um, our Wi-Fi system was next to a coffee table. So I used to put the headphones in, feed the headphones under one end of the coffee table and lie under it to listen. Because um, of course it was a very busy, noisy house a lot of the time. And uh, I listened to the whole thing. And every time I heard a new song it became my new instant all-time favourite Elvis song. Until the next one. <coughs> now there was 
Flexi Disc promo put out. I do have the UK one, but it, it didn't come in a sleeve and I can't find it at the moment. But uh, in Europe it came in this little I think this one is Dutch, I think. Now after Elvis died, the advert, uh, slightly altered, appeared again in the newspapers. Only this time it was also available on cassette. So um, I'd been saving up my pocket money and I asked my mum to order it for me. We had to do it quietly, because if my dad had found out, he would have not been too happy. I can just imagine him. Why are you buying that again? You've already got it. God knows what he would think of my collection today. He'd probably blow the top of his head off. So, uh, <coughs> the cassette version. And uh, it came with a, a smaller version. of the booklet and four cassettes. Now these are very long playing cassettes so when the Walkman came out they were ideal because you could put one in and listen to ages without having to keep turning them over. <coughs> in 1983 came Elvis Rocks, 14 Golden Hits from Reader's Digest. And uh, it now changed to this white label. And in 1984, Elvis sings country favourites. And again, it's a, a white label. In 1997, another new advert appeared. This time, for this um, five CD set. Elvis the legend lives on. It has more tracks than the original box set. Um, and of course it comes with a a booklet detailing Elvis's career and life again. Um, it was also available and a four cassette set. I, I have a memory of seeing a vinyl version of it um, but I think it was available in Canada I've not seen it in the UK unless somebody can tell me differently um, so that's all the UK Reader's Digest uh, releases there was another box set released in America which I don't have I've not seen it for sale over here, so I'll probably have to import it if I want to get it. Um, so who else got the Reader's Digest set very early on? It made a huge expansion to my Elvis world. <coughs> um, the next video will of course be Elvis's Christmas uh, releases. Um, so till then. Bye for now.